Hey, my enthusiasts, how are you doing? I hope you're all well and I hope you are having a great day. Today we're back on Project Bruce, so we're making lots and lots of progress. I've just finished off doing the seals, inner seals, outer seals, floor pans, jacking points. So all of that side of the car, all the underneath now, in the middle of the car is solid. One of the things I've got to do is tackle the back end, do the rear subframe. It's going to want a heel board. It's probably going to want a rear valance, closing panels, boot floor, wheel arches, whatever other bodges I'm going to find. I've had a poke around under there. There's fiberglass there. There's bodge stuck repairs. There's metal literally just stuck in holes. So I think that's going to be horrible. I've just had probably the last week and a half, couple of weeks of laying on my back welding those seals on inner and out, a cutting metal out. I need a bit of a break from that. And I think to give myself some motivation, I'm gonna do the front end because yeah, I'm sure I'll have some problems there, but it's all standing up stuff. It's not laying on my back. And once the front end is on, it'll really give me the motivation then to get stuck into the back end. So yeah, giving it a new face, making it all fresh at the front really, really, is gonna help with the motivation, I think. So cutting it out is gonna be really simple. Um, I'm In the past, I've measured up very, very carefully, but I'm not gonna do that on Bruce because it's had this wing replaced in the past. There's a massive pass panel gap up by the scuttle panel. It doesn't fit to the inner wing properly. I think the near side wing is probably original. Um, so I'm not sure what is straight and what's not straight, to be honest. So I think we'll just get it all off and then straighten up all the new panels. The scuttle panel looks fine, but I'm a little bit worried there might be a load of filler in it. But once we get the front end off, I'll be able to look up inside the closing panels and see and, and, and up underneath the bulkhead and just see if there's any rot there. And if there is, we'll be fitting a new scuttle panel as well. But I haven't planned for that, to be honest. Um, aside from that, what do I know? I'm probably going to have to do some inner wing repairs. We've got A panels, full front end. It's going to be a challenge. I've never fitted a non-genuine front end before. So this is a mix of heritage panels. The, the wings were some other brand that someone did tell me about. They're an Italian brand and they said they're actually good. But it's matching them up with uh, Magnum front end. Um, I'm sure there's going to be some fettling required. Hopefully not too much. But even... Heritage panels need a bit of fettling to get them right. So let me shut up and let's get on with it and get a new front end on Project Bruce and get some motivation to get it finished. just said I'm going to give myself a little bit of a fallback so I've drilled the bonnet hinges two three mil holes in them um, so when it comes to fitting the bonnet back on if all else fails and I need a data point so I know roughly where everything last time went last time I just get two three mil drill bits I can put them in the hole on the hinge and that will give me a very very rough method of aligning the bonnet back up.
came in interviews. That's how you're doing. So I just wanted to say Happy New Year to you all and uh, cheers for the beers, all those people that have contributed to the channel. So I thought I would just come on and do a quick bit of narration because I know in the comments a lot of you viewers are replacing front ends as well and I'm sure you'll be watching this and maybe want a bit of an explanation over how I do it. So the next few videos are going to be me replacing the front end on Project Bruce. As you can see, I've started out by just removing the headlights, indicator, the horn, the front subframe teardrop mounts. And in a moment, we'll start cutting the front end off. Now, there's various different ways of removing the front end on a Mini, I'm sure. But this is the way I do it. This is the way myself and Mark have done it in the past. And it seems the quickest simplest way of doing it so tools wise all you need is a angle grinder with a thin one mil cutting disc on so we're just about ready to start cutting now and the first cuts I'll make are around the actual wings themselves so we're not going to drill out the spot welds at this stage we are literally just going to put a slit down the inside of the wings, both sides, and then sort of follow that around in front of the join with the scuttle panel. So we don't want to damage the scuttle panel itself. We just want to go around the edge there, leaving maybe a centimetre or less of metal. And then we're cutting up the A panels there. And as you can see, that gets the wing nicely released. And I'll do the same on the other side. You might find the wings are not attached or welded at all to the scuttle panel themselves, especially if the wings have been replaced in the plast. It's unlikely that they've been welded from underneath. But I think from factory, there are a couple of spot welds that are underneath and hold the wings to the scuttle and the closing panels. But once you get the front end on like that, this, you get access to the inside so if there are any spot welds there you can just drill them out the next cuts are on the front panel so at the top half of the front panel behind the grill there's sort of a right angled bracket that goes from the front panel to the inner wings and is spot welded on so as you can see I go up there with a slit disc from the inside of the grill and just cut them on both sides and then down the bottom of the front panel there's two tabs or like ears that are triangular shaped and they are spot welded to the bottom of the front panel. And again, with a slip disc from inside the wheel arch, you can just go up and slip up through those triangular sort of shaped panels. And that is pretty much it. The front end is ready to come off then. There's a couple of welds maybe down in the front corners where the bonnet would be. But aside from that as you can see that is the front end off the car now and in the next video we'll concentrate on removing the little bits of metal which are left on above the inner wings and obviously around the scuttle panel so there we go bruce's face is off that was oddly quite satisfying um i know in the videos it doesn't always show up very well but I'm sure some people might have looked at it and thought well that front end looks fine but it's not until you start looking closer that you start seeing problems I was quite aware that all around the front here there was quite a lot of filler you could just see it in the front uh, this panel here this front panel is all twisted and bent um, and around this headlight actually I started chipping away here just out of curiosity and I just got massive lumps, thick lumps of filler off here. Um, it's got big, huge, great big chunks that come out. Um, and that is because, not because it's corroded, so I was expecting to find rusted holes under there. Can you see up around here as well? That's a massive amount of filler in there. If I turn it over... It's actually all quite dented in around here. 
especially this lip. So it's uh, it's obviously had a bit of a bump on the front here, and rather than I mean the pan, it's not actually that corroded, but rather than dollying it out, they've just filled it with filler. Um, you see now a little bit more how twisted that front panel is, uh, and then obviously there's all the holes in the front panel. But again, there's big bits, like in some of the corners, where you just pull out huge chunks of pug where they'd pugged up holes. Um, so I think it was the right decision to replace it. Um, Say so this side, just make sure I get it the right way round. Yeah, so this side is the side that I thought was the original wing. Uh, this is the one that's all dented and full of filler. This side I thought had been replaced. Um, hard to tell actually. Uh, well, I'm sure, I'm certain it's been replaced anyway, because it just fitted really badly. Yeah, it has been. I can see some blob welds along here. Um, you can see little almost like little worms sometimes that's just where there's been holes and the filler comes through there we go little pug worms they're everywhere <laughs> um, so yeah that definitely wanted doing that front end the good news so far and i'm not going to count my chickens is the rest of it doesn't look too bad um inside here i, I know i've got to do the inner wing down the bottom there and up the top ain't that great. This closing panel this side is just completely gone. But when I feel inside, it doesn't seem like it's full of filler. I think that scuttle panel's gonna be okay. Once I get this duct out of the way, fresh air vent, which isn't a fresh air vent on an older mini like this, um, I can get a better look up inside the scuttle but everywhere I can feel on the scuttle, it feels okay. So fingers crossed. Um, maybe it's just a closing panel I've got to do there and that inner wing repair. Same on the other side. Closing panel is completely intact on this side, which is great news. Scuttle again looks okay. Inner wing, again, down the bottom there. I'm going to have to repair that. Um, I've still got to take the A panels off. Uh, what else we got? Inner wings, I did know about this, I saw this when I went and looked at the car. See this massive crack along here, and someone has literally just put a, a metal strap on there. I suppose, to be honest, that's not too bad. We'll just cut the chunk out here and uh, put some new metal in there. Uh, we'll replace this section at the front, so we've got something to mount the new wings to. Obviously, I've got to continue taking the all the spot welds off properly yet. And then this side, the inner wing again, don't look too bad. We'll, we'll again, we'll cut out here, cut out down the bottom there, put in new bits of metal. But yeah, pretty pleased. It don't, like I say, don't all look too bad. Happy days. I guess the next question is whether I take the front subframe out. I don't, I don't really need to. I need to do the, the tower bolt bushes. Um, I'm getting around that pretty well to clean, so I don't, I don't think I need to take the front subframe out. So I'll probably leave it in situ, just have a bit of a clean up. But yeah, good, good bit of progress. I don't know whether you can see me, I've actually I've got a proper sweat on doing that. It's weird. Um, when I had all the insulation done in the garage, it's amazing how this place warms up now. I've got no heaters on here and it's showing 15.6 degrees. It's only about 10, 11 degrees outside. It's just my body heat warms the place up, which is quite cool. Excellent. Well, uh, if this is the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you do. Leave a comment in the description 
if you want to know something or just a general bit of feedback. Um, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and um, yeah, have a nice day. Catch you again soon. Bye.